Hi everyone, this is Sharon here with Big City Vegan, and I just want to send a shout out to Stephen Colbert today because he announced on his show on Friday that he had gone vegan, um, well, adopting a vegan lifestyle for, um, at least eating vegan uh, for 17 days because he lost a bet. Um, I don't know who he lost a bet with, he didn't quite go into that, but um, yeah, so, um, and he was concerned, Woody Harrelson was on, who's a very famous vegan, and you know, Woody had some things to say that were sort of helpful. Um, I mean, I think he did make some points, uh, but you know, Steve did express a lot of concern about, you know, where is he gonna get his protein, and you know, he made some remarks about how, you know, he doesn't fear death anymore because he really longs for it at this particular point, uh, since he's like, faced with being vegan and how awful this could be. So I wanted to just kind of make this video and let Steven know how great vegan can be. And also just shout out to all my friends out there and fellow vegans that, hey, you know, let's get on social media and let's, you know, tell them how to be vegan and make it fun and delicious and awesome. And um, at least, you know, and then maybe he'll, you know, continue with uh, eating vegan. So, um, yeah, so I thought we'd have a little fun with words. Um, so uh, just to answer, um, you know, Steve's question as to um, where does he get his protein? So um, I just thought I'd go through a couple of things and, you know, it's really not that scary, Steven, it's not that scary, you can, you can do it. It's, uh, and it's pretty easy. So fun with words, let's start. Quinoa is a grain, an ancient grain, super, super healthy, complete protein, um, has all your essential amino acids, and it's absolutely delicious and very versatile. Um, and then we have <laughs> other whole grains. So not just quinoa, but things like oatmeal, wheat, um, your breads, millet, all that stuff has protein. Um, and I even have some examples here, which I'll, which I'll show later. Um, is, but, hops a, is hops a grain? Hops? Um, you mean like the grain that's like in, in beer? This is my friend, Kevin, who's filming this. Okay, uh, yes, beer can be vegan. Not all beer is vegan. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's totally um, viable to have, you know, some beers that um, I'll, I'll post in the notes uh, below, like what beers are vegan and there are wines that are vegan too. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, um, you know, my friend Kevin here is suggesting that, you know, Drink up, Stephen. To drink, drink up. Maybe drinking will help you. But um, but I believe, I truly believe that, you know, you don't really don't have to resort to that and you won't really need um, the alcohol to get you through this. So trust me. Um, and I'm just going through just some examples because we're having fun with words. Um, I think we are. I mean, I'm having fun with words. I hope you guys are. Um, and But, you know, there are also tons of vegan restaurants around. And, you know, I just want to say a shout out to you know all those great vegan restaurants and they're not too far from the Ed Sullivan Theater and I'm sure they deliver and um, yeah so um, plant-based milks you have almond milk soy milk cashew milk hemp milk there's rice milk um, all these different kinds of plant-based milks have protein seeds Seeds are awesome. Uh, you have not only the common ones that you might think of, like sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, but there's also chia seeds, which are packed with nutrients, uh, and hemp seeds as well. So, and those could really add a lot to um, to your salads, um, to veggie burgers that you might make. There's like a lot of like chewing satisfaction you can get um, when you incorporate things like seeds. And also, or if you don't want the seeds, if you don't like the seeds, you could always have a chia pet. If, well, yeah, I mean, that, Kevin brings up a great point that um, the the chia you, you shouldn't eat your chia pet if you if if you still have one. Um, 
And if you do, I mean, I don't know. Like, that's pretty cool. Um, we actually got one for um, after the, uh, the election. Uh, a friend of ours brought us a Trump Chia Pet. Um, it gets fertilized daily. It gets... <laughs> Along with Trump toilet paper, but anyway, but that's another story. Sharon continues. <laughs> and I continue. Um, yes, I do. I always continue. I have so much to say about veganism because I think being vegan is so amazing. And if you talk to any vegan, like the number one conversation is food. And that's not because we're suffering. It's because we are such foodies because we can have everything that you can have, just a vegan version of it, and it's even healthier because it doesn't have like the cholesterol and like the bad stuff. So, so anyway, so seeds, um, soy. Okay, you know, I gotta say it. Everybody's tofu gets a bad rap. Oh, it's tofu, but you know, tofu really has is very versatile, and uh, so you know to. To know it is is to love it, you know. That's all I can say. Yeah. Say it ain't soy. Say it ain't soy. <laughs> That's a good one. Say it ain't soy. Yeah, I like that one. Nicely, nicely done. Um, this is recording, isn't it? Of course it is. Because if it's not, we've been doing a heck of a lot of talking. Okay. Um, Tempe is a soy uh, based um, product that's uh, fermented soybeans again something that doesn't sound great but you know does moldy cheese sound good mm, i think not so but you know it's a it's a natural process um and it's very good and uh soy milk we mentioned soy yogurt as well so soy products you get the idea soy bag soy bag Soy bay, enough about soy already. So let's talk about something that's like, you might not have heard about before, it's nutritional yeast. Also affectionately known in the vegan community as Nooch. Um, and I really think that that really should be it, its name because, you know, nutritional yeast, it just doesn't, I mean, Nooch, like, I want some Nooch, you know, give me some Nooch. All right, well, maybe that doesn't sound so good, but. You know, I don't know, like, you know, just a little, but, uh, but, you know, Nooch, uh, it's, it's really delicious. It's, um, it's, uh, got a very cheesy quality flavor to it and a texture that's really awesome. And, you know, it really, um, adds a lot of flavor and cheesiness to savory dishes. So hats off to the Nooch. Lentils are a great source of protein and also iron, I believe. Um, and when we're, since we're talking about lentils, let's just talk about, let, let's just go like for like the bean, like all beans, all beans have so much protein. Uh, it's really not to be believed. And you know, some people say the more you eat, you know, the more you, you know, it's important to keep yourself regular. And one thing you might notice- Are you telling us it's good for your heart? I'm telling you it's good for your heart. Uh, <laughs> but the more you eat fiber, the more your body, like a vegan diet has a lot more fiber in it than, you know, your typical omnivore diet. So I think that's why maybe people who are omnivores have maybe a harder time digesting um, some bean beans and stuff because their uh, systems maybe haven't adjusted as much to, um, uh, to the amount of fiber that's in a vegan vegan diet and there's some and other when we add that together with the beans we're having a party okay okay so kevin's gonna have his beans with some alcohol nuts are also super delicious and healthy and flavorful and um satiating and have lots of protein and you have like so many kinds of nuts i mean how many kinds of nuts i can't can i name all the nuts in the world i mean other than myself and Kevin, clearly. Uh, but there's also, you know, there's almonds, macadamia nuts. You've got your cashew nuts. Um, you've got Brazil nuts, hazelnuts. Um, what other kind of nuts are there? 
Oh, oh. just think about people on the subway. Okay. There are a lot of nuts in the subway, yeah. So, but you don't want to eat those because that would be like very not vegan cannibalism now. Oh, don't go there. Did I already say seeds? I think oh, God, I did. yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> Kevin's like, will this video please be over yet? I want to go to bed. Okay, so broccoli. Um, I mean, believe it or not, greens and your vegetables and even some fruits have protein in them. So there's like protein in like all manner of plant-based foods, you know, mostly, you know. Um, so like fruit, not so much, but hey, these are some blueberries. And guess what? In a half a cup of blueberries, you have one gram of protein. Think about if you ate two cups. That's like four, four grams of protein. Yeah, I do math. I'm smarter than a fifth grader, or at least as smart, or maybe fourth grader. But um, so broccoli actually, which is an interesting fact, has um, per 100 calories, has the same or more, I think, actually more um, protein than uh, beef or chicken. So think about that when you think about this. And, you know, some might say, oh my gosh, well, how much is 100 calories of broccoli? I mean, you can totally eat 100 calories of broccoli. It's not really that difficult. Um, think about broccoli soup um, and like a delicious like stir fry. So, um, so anyway, those are just some ideas um, for you. Um, and you know, I just I did bring some demo, like some things like show and, and tell. Off of the Vanner White portion. Of it. <laughs> Vanner White portion. Um, but, oh, thank you seeds. Like, there's always something new popping on the market. Oh my gosh, I didn't even mention like all, like, oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. So, um, Steven, I, uh, I'm gonna try and make a bunch more videos for you this next, you know, 15 days, I guess, that you have left of this, uh, because there's really, oh, uh, there's just so much to talk about. Um, and hopefully this is helpful, I hope it's helpful. Um, and uh, these are sprouted watermelon seeds. I discovered these recently by this company, Grow Raw. They're, they're really good. Um, they've got like 10 grams of protein for, Excuse me. Having for, enough carrots, eh? For one ounce. I eat plenty of carrots. You know, at a certain point you need you need your glasses. This is the nooch that I was talking about. And you got yourself three grams of protein in one tablespoon. Check it out. Um, I have the quinoa we talked about. We're talking six grams of protein in a half a cup of of uncooked quinoa which probably makes like like uh i think it makes like a cup you know or a, um, half a cup makes a cup i think or a half a cup what did i say a quarter cup this is a quarter cup raw that makes a half a cup which is six grams of protein how much hops did you have before this video <laughs> i just you know what i just i just like i i just uh, i'm just have this kind of like energy because I eat vegan and because I am vegan, I feel good about myself. So there, what do you think about that? Think about that when you think about this. Um, this is, these are some oats, whole oats. Um, five grams of protein for a half a cup. Oh, these are just more oats. Uh oh, your liquor is. <laughs> Your liquor is making some noise over there. These are chia seeds. You got, huh? Excuse me? Nothing. What? what? Um, four, gra four grams of protein in two, two tablespoons of chia seeds. You're doing a great job over there, Kevin. Thank you. Um, oh, this is granola. Eight grams for a half a cup. Three grams of fat. I mean, like the ingredients, no sugar in this. Um, this is from uh, Rip Esselstyn's line. He's like a tremendous like vegan athlete, firefighter, um, you know, author, wrote all kinds of books and creates these delicious and um, vegan products that sell uh, exclusively, I think, at Whole Foods. Um, so yeah, beans, you know, come on. 
Okay, we're getting, you know, we're getting to uh, a little, I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm afraid it might already be too long. But so these are some beans, seven, seven grams of protein. So, you know, you get the idea. Um, and again, like, um, there are so many other people out there, like athletes, you know, who like, obviously they need protein for their muscles and to be strong. And they're like, like, like an amazing shape and totally on a plant-based vegan diet. So you can totally do this, Steven. I'm behind you. I support you. And, you know, maybe we'll have more fun with words later this week, you know? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, and if, um, yeah, and if, Stephen, if you have any questions too, um, my fellow vegans, if you have any advice or suggestions, feel free to leave some comments. Uh, and even those who aren't vegan, hey, if you got questions, um, we're here to help. And uh, that's about it. So signing off for now. Have a great one.